Hi, my name is Hyo Young Ki. I live in Shoreline. Uh, I've been coming to this church for the last seven years. Last July, um, I started to have abnormal bleeding and it didn't really stop uh, except those just couple of intermittent like stopping in between uh, throughout till December last year. So about five months, I was dealing with that and losing blood. And uh, because of that, I was in very, very low energy and really couldn't function. So about August, I was participating in our like every other week care group. Um, and during the teaching time, the person who was teaching mentioned and quoted a verse from Psalm 103, 3, which says, uh, God forgives all our sins and um, heals all our diseases. So it came to my heart, and I think the Holy Spirit quickened my spirit through that word. I uh, cherished it in my heart and decided to pray uh, according to that verse. You know, I decided to take some time off from work because I was really having really low energy and everything. And um, designated some time every day uh, come before the Lord. Because of the verse says, uh, God forgives his sins. So I start asking God, like, if there's any uh, area that God want me to turn around. And as I uh, come before the Lord daily, He slowly showed me areas about my relationships and things like that. And actually before that, I was not very hopeful, even though I was a believer and really participating in different groups and stuff, I didn't have much joy. And I had tendency to uh, satisfy myself from a, a relationship that is necessarily good for me. Like, especially in terms of parenting, I've been single parent um, since my 10 years old son was three years old. So about seven years. I often experience anxiety and worry about raising my child alone. But I knew in my head that God was raising my son. However, I didn't have belief and full trust on him. Um, that's what God showed me. Also, I was in a long period of time uh, with hopelessness because of shame that came from failed marriage. And uh, because I was a believer at the time, and I still went through divorce and that gave me a great sense of shame and guiltiness before the Lord. Um, and I couldn't accept His grace and mercy for a long time. I couldn't forgive myself. And I start to say sorry to Him and I just confess that I fully rely on Him and I don't worry. So just uh, this simple unbelief was the area that God really showed me. So anyway, so throughout that um, journey, I pray and uh, meditate the words, but my problem didn't go away. I asked people to pray. So just I felt like I was lost because I know that the verse God gave me, which is true. And I know His word doesn't go away. So I decided to um, open it up to church family and um, actually side group to pray for me. I emailed to the leader there and I got replies from Pastor Lau that he's sincerely praying for me every day. That really, really encouraged me. And I think before that time, I was not coming to church. I was um, worship at home, but then it was, to be honest, not, I didn't pay attention much, you know, couldn't and all this other thing going on. But I think there was also fear that I didn't want to come here. But during that time, Holy Spirit told me to go to house of God, you know, where the presence of God is there and people worship me in cooperation together. So although I was 
still having problem, have really not feeling well, I made myself to come here. And that day, Pastor Lau um, called me in the, the front, in front of the altar, and uh, prayed for me that day. I was shy and everything, but you know, I needed God's healing and touch. And I really desired it. So I came out alone and he prayed for me. And since then, I slowly feel difference in my body. Also started fasting and pray, because uh, I learned that fasting and prayer has power. Um, and also the power to break any chain that I'm, I'm bound by and I cannot see. Because I, looking back, I was in spiritual darkness. I didn't know where to go. And because the hopelessness was in me for a long time, that I was sort of lost. So, so I was doing accompanying the fasting, fasting and prayer, and also the prayer by the pastor and church family. I start to feel difference, and I think the last day of my fasting, God gave me a gift of faith, full faith that I was healed. So I just, uh, unimaginable peace came to me and I was not worried at all anymore. And then uh, about a couple of days later, the problem went away. And, but then I wanted to uh, verify it scientifically so that it can be objectively told to people yeah, of course, I asked God if that's the way that He wanted me to go on because I knew in my heart that I'm healed. But God led me to do the another ultrasound. I had done it before, the beginning of the problem. Um, it showed endometrial polyp, meaning that in the layer of the uterus, there was a polyp that is sized more than one centimeter. So it's, uh, I looked it up, it's big, co considered to be big size. So in October, the initial ultrasound showed that. And then um, God led me to do another ultrasound uh, in January. And uh, the result says that no polypsin. The medical record is telling that, summarized very nicely. Um, so. Uh, you can have a reference. I learned through this experience that um, God really, really wants to bless us. As long as we're on the right track, um, on the right path. My problem was that I wasn't fully trust God in my daily life. And I was really uh, taking a position that I was owner of my life because that's why I had all this burden to raise my son alone. And that just over time gave me a lot of pressure and depression, uh, hopelessness. But through this, God redeemed me again and uh, showed me that I can fully trust Him. Um, he can do miracle when I uh, look to Him and look to Him only. And uh, also I learned that the importance to be in the group of church family, although you don't feel like be in the group, I strongly encourage you to be in the group regularly and commit yourself. Because the word that are taught there or the encouragement that you get from the um, church family, that changed my journey too. That the, the, the word, Psalm 133, started all this and that grounded my um, journey. And that was shared in the care group. So I strongly encourage you to do commit yourself in the groups. So I also learned that the prayer of saints has power. And prayer from the pastor and brother sisters with sincere heart and pure heart, that really has power. So I strongly encourage you to open up yourself. Don't hold problem uh, alone uh, because the prayer of others has power. 
So the power of a cross that has uh, the power of forgiveness because it really replaced our sickness and I, it really replaced our infirmities. Um, and if you really accept it and believe, uh, the power is yours. So I encourage you to uh, meditate on it and don't focus on yourself. Look to God, how He did, um, he did give us gift of salvation through cross. So because my hopelessness turned into hope and I found myself again in God, um, in the gospel. So thank you.